Yes, okay. Hi there. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. That's good. Okay, so it's been a while. What did you do last weekend? Oh, I just uh, played because my uh, grandparents um just go to my ho house and play. Wow, that's a uh, good news. Yes, yeah. So th they visited <laughs> you and your brother last weekend, right? Yes. Mm hmm. Definitely. Okay. Anyways, yes. what did you do today? Yes. I yes. Uh, yes. Tomorrow I go to school. I went to school. Okay. All right. What about the weather? Is it still very hot today? Uh, it's cool today. Not hot. Really? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that's my favorite weather. Okay, yes. Well, okay, anyways, you had a long weekend and a great holiday, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, well, anyways, uh, let's try to go through your book. So we will have a refreshment of what we had last time okay so last time we had read a story do you remember what was the story all about yes correct okay good let me share your book with you so you uh, could also have yes an idea what is this yeah can you see your book oh yes Yes, so this was the lesson that we had last time. Yeah, about Kehan and his friends. Yes, okay, remember this picture and this story. Okay, so let's yes. go to the next activity. So let's try to answer which children in the story do these adjectives uh, describe and why. Okay, so we have brave, fearless, intelligent, Wicked, strong, and powerful. So, who do you think is brave? I think it's Kehan. Because? Because Kehan is uh, brave to take the stone. Okay. Yes, and to kill the beast, right? Yeah, because it's yes. that, that was their mission. Who is fearless? Yeah. Uh, Kehan and uh, his friend. Oh, who are other? Who are his friends again? Do you remember? Yes, his friends are fearless. And there are and, two. And they are brave and fearless. Okay, they are brave and. Fearless. All right. So you mean to say three of them. All right. So Kehan, okay. who else? Let's see what are the names. Okay. Okay. So it's, yeah, um, Baril and Haraf. Yes. Baril and Haraf. Okay. So, yes, they. The three of them are brave. How about intelligent? Who is intelligent among them? I don't know. Okay. You don't know? Okay. What if I say it's Kehan? I think it's Kehan, right? Oh, Kehan's it all. Uh, not wicked. Okay, That's so all, but not wicked. Okay. So all uh, all these adjectives brave, fearless, intelligent, strong and powerful, Kehan has yes. it. Okay. Yes. yes, no one is wicked, right? Yes, no one wicked. Oh, the beast wicked. Yeah, only the beast, except for the three friends. 
Okay, definitely. That's right. Okay, so again, when you say adjectives, it describes you or other things. All right, so remember what's that. Okay, so let's try to go for values. Okay, being brave. So here are, or here is an example of a brave um, person. Okay, we call it a firefighter. So a firefighter is very brave, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, why do you think so? Why are firefighters brave? Firefighter brave because they need to take off the fire. Mm -hmm. So they are fearless. Yes, fearless and brave. Exactly. Yeah, so in the future, do you want to be a firefighter? Mm, I think uh, no, because I. Uh, I think I'm not. Mm -hmm. It's because you don't like uh, seeing fires, like big fires. Yes, I'm scared. Oh. I'm scared of it. Mm, okay. But still, it's, it's not because you're scared. You're not brave. You're still brave, right? Of other yes. things. Exactly. Okay, so... What are other jobs that you can say that, oh, this job is a brave one? Okay, aside from a firefighter, what are other jobs that you can think that it's brave? Yeah, other it's jobs. A police officer. Exactly. Okay, what do you think so? Because... Because they catch thief and it helps the people. Correct. Okay, and it's not easy, right? Yes. Yes. You can if you catch the thieves. So yeah, you have to run very fast. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's also dangerous. Mm hmm. But you need to be strong and brave. Okay. All right, so let's now read the sentences below about being brave and tell me which ones describe someone you know or you have read about, okay? So let's say, for example, number one. Please read. Okay. Someone who put him uh, himself in danger to save someone else's life. Okay, which ones describe someone you know or you read about? Any names uh, of that person or you can, um, any relatives that you know or friend? Yeah, who puts himself into danger just to save someone's life. Uh, yes. Mm, no. I think yes. Okay. Yes. Who is the person? Uh, I don't know. I think yes, I, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's say for example, uh, you just saw it on television, or is it someone close to you? Or have you just read it on the book? Oh, I just read it on a book. Okay. So what does it make him or her brave? In number one. I don't know. Okay, for example. Okay, it makes I don't think him... Uh, someone... Yes? What's that? I don't know uh, any about that. I think a police officer. Okay, that's right. You can say a police officer. Yes, because he puts himself into danger just to save someone's life. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so you have seen it on television yes. too, right? 
Yeah. So we can say that someone I saw on TV. Okay. Okay. Yes. So that's for number one. Number two. Someone who has a serious illness but tries to be happy when other people are around. Okay. So do you know someone uh, who feels this way? It can be your relative, your friend, or someone you have read on the book. I don't know someone. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. What about number three? Someone who does something that makes them feel nervous or scared, especially if it will help other people. No one? No one. Okay. Number four, someone who stands up for another person who is weaker. Okay, let me know if you don't understand so I can explain. Okay, number four, someone who stands up for another person who is weaker. I, but I know, but uh -huh. I cannot say. I can't know how to say it. Okay. Just try to explain. Like word by word. Oh, it's a man who helps the children to talk loud to the children who fight uh, the bad uh, the bad children fight the uh, the the, the some children. Oh, you mean to say there is a man, and yes, a man protect. Okay, that protects the children. Yes. Mm, okay, because of the bad guy or a bad person. Okay. Yes. Next, yes. someone who has a disability but still participates in activities with everyone else. Do you know what's a uh, disability? This word. This yeah. I don't know how this work. Uh -huh. uh, when you say disability, like for example, a person who is uh, deaf, someone who is who can't uh, walk uh, normally, or someone who is blind. Yes, these are examples of disabilities. Okay, do, you know, do you know someone? Yes. Oh, oh is that speakers? The speakers. Speakers? I think that because. Mm -hmm. I think the speakers are. Mm -hmm. Or. Because I see. Uh, because I see the speakers. Yes, yes. It can be. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah. someone who is a speaker, yeah, can be in an event or in the forum or, yes, in the class, okay. Next, someone who faces something difficult with a calm attitude. Okay, you know someone? Mm. In number six? Someone in number six. Mm -hmm. With a calm attitude. You don't know I don't someone? Know. Yes. Don't know. I knew one. Okay. All right. So, yes, we are trying to describe someone here, you know, just to um, express what is this people uh, feeling. Okay. Yes, because since we're talking about adjectives, so we have to describe someone. Okay, so someone, it means a person. Okay, so now let's try to make a sentence that you chose to, uh, to share. Okay, for example, my uncle is very brave because okay, last week I read a story about a girl who... Okay, so you can also um, 
copy this one or you can make your own. Okay, it's up to you. All right. Oh, okay. you understand? Okay. So I'll give you time to think, all right, for you to make up your sentences. Okay, you can write it. Okay, after that, um, you can read your sentence. Okay, my uncle is, is the fire of not is the pilot is brave because and uh, the doctor is uh, doctor is uh, K up 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 yes up up oh the doctor is intelligent and because he, he know how to uh, cure the the injury or oh, cure mm -hmm. yes cure the injury okay so he's intelligent because he can cure people yes cure the people okay any other person no okay. uh what about let's say your mom Oh. Yes. My mom is intelligent because she can help me do some some lesson. Oh, uh, some lesson that uh you don't know. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So intelligent is a word is the word. So it is uh describing the person, okay, describing the person. So you are describing your mom, you're describing the doctor as intelligent people, okay? So that's again adjectives, okay? Okay. All right. Now let's go to, okay, this is choosing a project. Okay, let's skip this one. Okay. So let's try to reflect on our learning of this uh, unit. Okay, so which reading do you enjoy and um, has information that you've got? Which reading is it? Is it the reading about um, Kehan? Who else? Kehan. Yeah, so let's review the reading that we had, okay? So this one, The Seekers, okay, The Friends, or, okay, what else? What are other readings that we have? Or this one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, remember this. What else do we have? Mm. Uh, okay. Oh, I guess that's, there are two, okay? There are just two of them. Yeah. So only two. Yes. Which one is um your best choice? Okay, is it about Ben or is it about the three friends or the seekers? Okay, which one do you like and has a lot of learnings? Which one? Lot of learning. Yeah, that you enjoy. Is it the three friends or about Ben and his grandpa? Oh, about Ben and his grandpa. Okay, you like that? Yes. Okay, how do you describe Ben? Ben is a brave boy. A brave boy. Okay, why do you think so? Because... Because he do karate. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes him brave. He does um, karate. Yes. Okay. And he was also patient. Okay. Patient of waiting. Right? 
Yes. Okay. So now, oh, where is it? Okay, now let's try to um, describe someone who is beautiful. Can you try it and make it into a sentence? Okay. A beautiful, mm -hmm. powerful, athletic, intelligent. Yeah, so I bet you all know these words, right? Yes. yes. Okay, well, that's a good pronunciation. Very good. Okay, now I want you to describe someone who is beautiful, powerful, athletic, and intelligent. Okay, first, beautiful. Who is it? Uh, the beautiful is Lish. Okay. Or no. Mm hmm. I think that beautiful. Uh, this girl with the pink cape? Yes. Okay. Powerful. Here. Oh, athletic. I think here. Intelligent. Okay, good. All right. So that's a good choice. Actually, um, it describes them. All right. It describes the superpowers of this heroes. Okay. All right. So before we'll go to the next uh, topic. Okay. Yes. Uh, do you have any questions? Mm. No. No questions. All right. So I guess you understand what are the the things that we had learned in this chapter. Okay. So now let's move on to a review. All right. So it's listening. Okay. Okay. Please okay. Say. Okay. Uh, since we can't listen on audio in the first exercise, let's do number two. Okay. So. You just have to describe one of the characters in each pictures, okay? So only give one description at a time. The first person to guess who will is the winner, okay? So let's say number one, this is a person who likes to walk with his dog. Okay, so your answer is number 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 four. Okay. Yes. So now you try it. Okay. You try it. This is. This is a person who. Is this is a person who kicks the ball. Kick the ball. Okay. That's number three. Oh. That's uh, this is a person who wears the glasses. Okay, where's the glasses? Oh, number two. Yes. This um, is the person who like reading book. Okay, number one. Okay, very good. So that is a simple way of describing someone. Okay. Yes. So. Now, let's read the clues and guess the words, okay? So, you just have to guess the word. Mm -hmm. So, let's say, for example, number one. This word describes a person who isn't scared of anything. Okay. So, what okay. is the correct word? A person who isn't scared of anything. Is the person who is scared of anything? Yes. Is, I think is. Think is brave. Brave. Okay. Yes. yes. That's correct. Okay. Brave person. 
Okay, next. This is a person in a play or a book. A person in a play or a book. Okay, who is that? A person in a play or a book. I don't know. It starts with a letter C. Character. Correct. Okay, number three. This person is your mother's father. Mother, father. Grandpa. Correct. Okay, it's grandpa. Okay, in this sport, you jump up and down. Up and down. Mm. Athletic. No, no. Not athletic. Yes. I think it's hopping. Oh, no. I don't know. Okay. So, jump up and down, up and down. Okay. So, your answer is the first one is correct. It's athletic, right? Oh. Yeah. I don't know. That's electric. Yeah, athletic. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of running, but you jump up and down. Okay. Yes. Next. Yes. This adverb of frequency means that you don't do something. You don't do something. Nothing. You're doing s n nothing? I don't know how to, so I don't know what it. Okay, let's know first what is adverb of frequency. Okay, so when you say adverb of frequency, okay, so examples of it are, so let's say for example, uh, usually, sometimes. Oh, never, never. Mm -hmm. Okay, never. Next, this international sports event happens every four years. International Olympic. Olympics. Olympics. Correct. Next, this book contains facts about many things. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia? Yes. Mm, no, that's very specific. There's the general one of that. It starts with letter N. Uh, novel. No. Okay, I'll give you the first word. It's non. Oh, nonfiction. Correct. Okay, it states facts. Next, this person helps you if your house is burning. Firefighter. Firefighter, correct. So see, all of these words are in the book that we had, okay? All right, so now this time, choose the correct word or phrase. Okay, Juliet loves to dance. To dance. She's crazy about all kinds of sports. But she's really go to street, into street dance. Okay. She she works work. Correct. Works. Okay, works hard at dance. She uh always. Always. And next she dances in special shows, but that's sometimes. Sometimes she dances in special shows. Okay, next. She? She performs. For performance? Performs. Sure. Oh, uh, no. It's performing. Performing? Um, no, perform. Yeah, perform. It's last year. Okay, next. But she? But she found. Found. found? That it was that. a lot of work. Next, 
person and her family uh, who take who takes after okay he was a ballroom dancer but he doesn't like the music man that Juliet danced to. That? That. Just that. Okay, he was a ballroom dancer, but he doesn't like the music. That. Okay, correct. Okay, very good. All right, so I guess you already understood what are the verbs of this sentence. That's perfect. Okay. Anyways, I guess we're running out of time, so... We'll just continue this in our next class, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you and see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.